All right, so electronic enrollments with Medicare app. So hopefully, um, many of you folks have already signed up for MedicareCenter.com. That's where you would gain access to Medicare app. And this slideshow pretty much is just to show us, show you the capabilities of Medicare app and how you can use it to better uh, get an idea of what plan is good for your client and how you can show your client uh, how you came to your conclusions. Now, with COVID-19, more and more uh, people have become accustomed to and also lean toward an electronic enrollment type of uh, enrollment process just due to you know not having to meet so many times in person so i feel that this will be a good training for all of you folks who want to help people also you can enroll people in different states also you don't have to drive uh, so it can make um, a very good addition to one of your tools what this also does is allows you to keep an electronic record of all of your clients without having to scan their application and otherwise keep it somehow um, in paper form. Uh, it provides clients with a confirmation number as well, knowing that their application is being processed. Uh, you don't have to worry about coming home, faxing or scanning. Um, also, you give yourself more value in the eyes of your client by being able to again show your work and show what you do for them. So MedicareCenter.com is new for 2021. Plan Advisors and, and Integrity formed a partnership and gave us access to even more technology tools. Medicare app is actually the same thing we had last year called Broker Connect. Uh, and all the client data that was in there before should have automatically processed um, and connected. If it hasn't, there could have been some kind of a, a glitch in transferring. I would suggest contacting info at myplanadvisors.com to see if they can help you. This is the landing page, the main screen when you sign into medicarecenter.com. Typically, you're going to be using your NPN number and a standard password like welcome PA or something like that. Uh, when you get access to the site. For us, you're going to be clicking on Medicare Advantage PDP here, and then this will pop up. You will then click on Medicare app here to get access to Medicare app. Medicare link has similar um, capabilities. It's a completely different look though. And also currently for myself, I'm only able to enroll people in Ohana or WellCare. The other two, um, United Healthcare and Humana, are not linked up properly in this platform. It's only in this one. But you can view both. You can test out both if you would like. So this is what you will land on when you click on Medicare app. And here you can search profiles. You can search for beneficiaries that you have already added, either your clients or people who you've added in um, as prospects. You have to type in one of their demographic information and then search profile. What I would suggest doing is accessing your shopping link and saving it. So how to access your shopping link is you would go for that same place, that same landing page. You would click on the down arrow, go to account overview, and you'll be landed here. Here, you can copy your shopping link once it's copied, it'll come out that green check mark saying copied. And then when you have that link, you can provide it with clients and this is what they will see. They will see your name here as the agent and they will need to get started by putting in their zip code. And of course they can start by entering some of their preferences like their uh, medications and uh, what is important to them as far as their health. So Medicare app navigation. This is what the account overview site looks like. If we go to plan or if we go to search, we'll go back to that initial landing page that we saw in the beginning. If we go to plans, that is where we now can search the different plans available. In order to search plans, we do have to provide a zip code. And of course I provided 96814. Honolulu zip code. You can also add non-licensed plans. So you could add in plans like the HMS and Kaiser plans in here. And you can also add in the 
SNP plans. Keep in mind that both SNP plans and non-licensed plans, you cannot enroll them on this platform. Special needs plans typically have to go through a Medicaid verification before you are able to enroll them. And of course, non-licensed plans you're unable to sell, so we're unable to enroll them. When you're in the Medicare plan, uh, Medicare app plans, when it populates, there's a preference area. And in this preference area, you can add things for your client. You can add their health, which is, or you can add the plan that they're looking for. So if it's medical only, MA only. Prescription drug, that's a PDP plan. Medicare prescription, so an MAPD here. You can put, I don't know, but typically if we're filling this out, we would know one thing that they haven't added yet to the client side is providers. So as of this video recording in September the 7th, 2021, we are unable to add in providers, sorry, we are able to add in providers, but our clients, someone who you give this link to is unable to add in the providers. And that's because the provider database has not compliantly correctly linked to uh, this platform. So we're unable to give the um, proper guidance when it comes to adding the providers. And I'll show this later on in the slideshow, but just know that if you provide this link to your clients, you they will be unable to add the providers. You can, but they cannot. So once you've selected the type of coverage they want, you need to see if, or you need to indicate if they have uh, any kind of help, either extra help or Medicaid, just like how you would do so on the Medicare.gov website. I typically put no, I'm not eligible, but you can put I don't know and it's not going to change anything. For health, they have a base that they use. So as the person is more up on the age category, this bar will increase and this bar is you can change it by just clicking over it and choosing where you want the bar to end or land but this pretty much is only calculated based off of or only used in calculating their overall medical cost and it does not really tell us much of anything except that this person is expected to spend about this much money based on this uh, bar here where it's sent Generally healthy gives you some guidelines, some health issues also, and significant health issues also. And you can walk this through with your client, and that's what I would suggest you do, uh, especially in the beginning. So providers, you can add providers here by simply searching. So it's very important to double check specialty and location, and that's why I mentioned you should ask the clients for the doctor's name location and what they see them for because there are many doctors that have the same name they could be in the same place but they practice different um, specialties now there could there's there's a chance that they could have the same name same location and same specialty but at that point that's pretty much you've done all you can um, also keep in mind again that the mdx hawaii and the plans here do not reflect the same data and I've already sent uh, technology a ticket to uh, notify them that uh, something needs to be done because as of right now the data is not consistent. Next you can add their prescription medications. You can for your tech savvy clients uh, connect to their Medicare uh, account and that will send you all the prescriptions that they have filled uh, for part d but many people do not know how to do this uh, so you could just go ahead and type them all in um, yourself you can type in the beginning of the letters like here shows the sartin and then it will give the um, you know to search for you and from there you can give or you can indicate the dosage and how many uh, pills they take per month and you can add as many as you need add here and then you just simply add 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 until you're finished next you have to choose the pharmacy i always suggest choosing the pharmacy therefore you can find them the plan that um, matches or lines up well with the 
the pharmacy they use, whether it be Walgreens or Long's um, or someplace else. Next, it will populate the medications that you put in and the doctors you put in the pharmacy, and it will give you some idea of the total estimated cost, how many of the prescriptions are covered, and how many providers are in the network. And then it'll break down the cost of the drugs and then the drugs. And this total cost is the amount that they will be paying for medical services. From there, you can click the plan details. And the plan details will give you a snapshot of their providers, which ones are out of network and in network. Again, as of right now, this is not um, current uh, for 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 us in Hawaii and for this one prescriptions you can see that bupropion the 450 milligram XL is not covered pharmacy is covered and all the other medications under the covered prescriptions under the prescriptions tab you can actually get a detailed uh, cost breakdown of how much each medication will cost and the retail cost for each medication is shown here and this is if how much they would pay without insurance this is how much they would pay in the initial coverage stage or the the deductible stage and this is how much would be in the coverage gap and this is how much is after the coverage gap so you can get a good idea of how much things are going to be costing uh, during each stage of the coverage uh, for part D. It breaks it down by categories, tier 1 preferred generic, tier 2 generic, tier 3 preferred brand, tier 4 non-preferred brand, and tier 5 specialty, and it tells you which drug is in each category. For non-covered, it also tells you how much the drug is going to cost during each phase, and it's going to be full price because uh, it's not our formulary. Here, it, under the total cost tab, it gives you a breakdown um, based off of when they enroll, um, with the effective date being September 2021, it gives them a, it gives you a uh, cost from September. It grays out January through August, and this tells you basically how much they're paying for each medication. From there, you can either send this quote to your client. Or if you wanted to compare quotes, you can add multiple quotes and send those to your client. I, I don't suggest doing the multiple quote, quote way because then it gives them, um, it could confuse them. Um, but you can send multiple quotes if you wanted to. When you send them to your client, you can send them via email or via text. And then you can send them a customized message. And I'm going to show you what the quote looks like when they receive it. So they'll be given this uh, code, which they'll receive in a separate email from the one that you send the link to. You yourself will also get this code so you can tell your client to type it in. This is what it's gonna look like. So I wanna share some health insurance options with you. They click view quote, and they will be able to type in that authorization code to gain access to the quotes you send them. Your information should populate here and here. So this is what the uh, verification or authorization code email looks like. So they received this one to view the quote and then they receive this one to get the code. They will type in the code and this is what they would see. So remember, keep in mind the Medicare app is what they will see. They don't see plan advisors. They don't see Medicare Center. They will see Medicare app as the enrollment platform that they um, are are using. So just keep that in mind to keep the messaging for them the same. As while well, yes, we are using um, we are plan advisors. We're an integrity company, but the technology we're using is called Medicare app. From there, they will see this, all the things. They can also edit here if they want to, but they can click compare these plans. And what that does is it gives them a side-by-side -side comparison on everything. This will be clicked on as a default, so they will show plan differences. All the plan differences will be highlighted. 
and they can click on plan details or add to cart if they want to go on and enroll once they pick or add something to the cart they will be asked to continue to apply and then from there they can apply with their demographic information like their medicare card and they will need to know their enrollment period uh, that can be difficult so i always just walk in your client through this um, but that's pretty much it uh, for medicare and that's the the, the uh, uh, steps you would take to have someone enroll completely electronically i highly suggest doing this yourself a few times to get familiar with where your client can get um, kind of stuck so to speak and also if it times out and they go back in sometimes it goes back in without your information populated so always 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 make sure they are entering your uh, verification code or authorization code when they are going to apply back here so that this is always shown these two make sure the agent is popular with your name and this bottom part is shown so that they can they know that it is your enrollment link that they're using and not just a default um, integrity or plan advisors one that is the you know quote unquote the house account all right hopefully that gives you an idea of how to use the medicare app and how to properly uh, quote and fill out information for your clients I hope this helps and see you in the next video.